Jackson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the extruder on the longer OK5 Pro. So let's get started. So I found this kit on Amazon for about $15, and it comes with everything you need to replace the extruder, and it also comes with a part to replace the filament sensor. And I'll put the link for the Amazon in the description. So I had this printer for about a little over two years. As you can see right here on the extruder, filaments were running against that and causing a little dent in it. And also, this gear right here has also been worn down because of the filament and it's having a hard time pushing it through the nozzle. And if it's clicking or doing any of these signs, first I'd say change the nozzle, but if that, still, that doesn't work, then I think you should get a new extruder part kit so you can replace it. So first I'm gonna check out this button too by just unscrewing this. And next we're gonna remove this. I'm gonna remove these screws right here. There's one, two, three, and there's one height under here. And you also wanna make sure to hold this motor because these four screws are the only thing that's holding it onto this metal plate so it doesn't fall out. I did get a different size Allen wrench because this screw is a lot smaller and also make sure to hold the motor so it doesn't fall out. Once you've done that, you're going to clip this, this part off. And next, you're going to take off the extruder gear. And also, as you can see, this is very worn down. And now look at this one. This is the new one. You can shiny. So you're going to get a really small Allen wrench. And there's going to be two screws right there. You're going to unscrew. So next, you're going to get this new one and put it on so where it's barely sticking out the top. And you're going to get your Allen wrench and screw those in tightly. Put the motor back in here. So the parts we're gonna need for that is this big red piece, this screw with a really flat head. It's gonna go into this this slot right there, and these two small ones. Next, I'm going to put this screw into this hole right here to keep the screw in place. So next, you're going to install the filament wheel. So the pieces you're going to need are this red piece, this filament wheel, and this screw. So next, you're going to install the spring. So the pieces you're going to need is the spring. This piece that we just assembled. This red piece. The long screw. And then this screw. So now we're going to go install it. So you're going to put this spring right here. Push this onto the screw. And you're just going to squeeze this until this part goes into its hole. So the last step is to install the pattern tube, which just 
screws on like this. And you can also install this film as sensor, which just clips in there. You unclip this cord and clip it into the new one. And how it works is on the last side, there's a square hole that you just feed your filament through. And then for the extension that we just put on, like normally you just squeeze this and then it goes through. That's how I replace the longer LP5 Pro extruder. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more tips and tricks on 3D printing. Bye, Jackson. Everybody listen up, give us your attention. It's Jackson and he's printing it.